Today's scripture passage comes from Mark's gospel. And it's the first chapter of Mark's gospel. And what we find is, is Christ coming to Capernaum and he goes into a synagogue and begins to talk and to read the scriptural passages. And while he is there, the, a man stands up and there is some evil spirits within him that says, we know who you are. If you come to destroy us, and, and, and Christ uh, says, come out of him. The man convulses and the spirits come out of him and, and leave the place. <laughs> What's interesting about that is that Christ did not put the man out of the church. He put the evil out of the man. The man stayed there. And this whole time is remarkable is because it's the first chapter. And all we have seen in, in Mark's uh, telling of the story is that it begins with, with uh, Christ's baptism. Um, then uh, he goes into the desert, driven by the Spirit, comes out, calls his apostles, and then goes into the synagogue to begin his ministry. And the first people truly to know who he is was the evil spirit. And all through Mark's gospel, there are moments when people begin to understand who Christ is. In fact, Peter says, we have come to believe that you're the Messiah. And, and right after that, Christ, um, accepting that, that Peter knew who he was, starts to tell the story of what might happen. At this point, <laughs> Peter said, oh, wait a minute. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm on board with all that, that, that torture and that killing stuff, you know, um, that's not how I understand the Messiah. You see, John, uh, rather, Peter wanted Christ to be God the way he wanted Christ to be Christ. He, he didn't want Christ to be God the way he did. Christ wanted to be. So he truly didn't know who he, who he was and, uh, and what he was called to do. Then we go all the way to the end of Mark's gospel, the 15th chapter. And after Christ dies on the cross, a centurion, a centurion rather, who was there to guard the, the, and to maintain and make certain that the crucifixion occurs, sees all the phenomena occur and says, he was truly the son of God. So from the very beginning to the end, the one who knew who Christ was were those who were antagonistic to who he was. Those he was trying to convince were kind of hemming and hawing about who, who Christ was. So the question becomes for you and I, who is Christ in your life? <laughs> no, you know, is, have, have you learned who Christ is? truly is a suffering Christ, suffering because of our sins, because of what we don't do right. You know, there's this whole new uh, joke that's come out that said there was a man who went to heaven and he had a book, a, a, a notebook with him. And uh, when the gate, when St. Peter opened the gates, um, Man said, uh, you know, St. Peter, I've got some questions for God now. And so he says, oh, go right on in. And man sees God. He says, Lord, I have some questions for you. Difficult ones. Lord, why did you allow all the hatred and killing in your world and the perfection of what you created, why did you allow all of this cacophony, this, these human disasters? Why didn't you intervene? God looks at his beloved child and says, I was about to ask you the same question. <laughs> so that's why every single day, you and I have to send out our little voices because our voice is the only thing we have. And it's got to count for something. So each morning, 
you tell the Lord and ask him, Lord, what are we going to do today? <laughs>